So this is the project setup. I actually created an React app and as you see we have two files or two folders, a Cloudinary which is a client side and the server which is the server side. Let's see them. The Cloudinary is actually the same. It's create React app. The only thing that I did is that I removed all the files here and only left the app.js and by the way the index is made by React 18 which is the latest update for React. So you will find root uh, method and the root render and instead of the react dom tod render which is actually the newest way of making the react app by react 18 however this is app.gx nothing is here except this hello and we have a helpful snippet just like something i i uh, i put inside all the things that uh, we may use but don't worry we will explain everything in detail so just this is something for me to remind me with some things this is for the uh, client side nothing is and it's it's here I have actually launched the npm start so you can see the app here with the hello and the same message here this is for the client side and for the server side uh, we have a cloudinary file but it it's not having anything right now and we will put in it everything that we will do in the server side for cloudinary we have some environment variables and we have the index.js in the index.js, we require the .env, we installed the Xpress, we, we instantiated an app, we made a port, and we put the port in the env environment variables, and we will show them uh, right now. And we also made a required course, because it's the cross-origins allowance, which is which will enable us, actually, to deal from the client side and send requests by Axios to the server side, in which it, it, will, it will just, like, receive them because we have cores enabled and here we are using cores as a middleware between the request and response we have here also something very important which is the express.json which will if we have a form data that we need to send from the client side to the server side we will show them by the express.json because it will turn them into json files that can be readable by the server and this is very important put the limit to something that is bigger than the normal because you might not always you will upload to cloudinary just a, a, an image and not always the image will be just like one megabyte or something some people will put a dslr camera image and that will be very big sometimes it, it reaches eight megabytes so to be on the safe side you should put the limit to a bigger size and of course if you are downloading videos to the cloudinary by the server if you are just like making a a movie or something that people can share videos on and upload their videos just like youtube you might think I, I mean you might raise this a little bit to be 500 megabytes or something whatever you want so this depends on the files that's coming to the server and that you are expecting to have and here i ha just have an app.get route where the welcome on this page and app the post where we will do all our work and we will post on the server so this is the server with a slash let's see actually the environment variables we have four environment variables: the port which is 8.001 and the cloudinary url the cloudinary name cloudinary api key and the cloudinary secret however these ones are actually very important because the they are the ones that we will establish the cloudinary connect with let's see how we can get this so that's all the files and the um and the server side and in the cloud area we will start to set up everything here so let's see how to do that from the cloud area website and how to get this and start working on them